Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here in the beautiful city of Prague. And I want to start by congratulating Lucia for doing such a wonderful job in only one year and bringing us all to Prague. And I think we should give Lucia and the team here one big, great applause for doing such a wonderful achievement. So, we have a great day ahead of us, and it's my opportunity now just to talk a little bit about why it is there's no time to waste, and what plan we have already coined within the United Nations Global Compact to do our very best to make sure that we are wasting no time at all. So, we have already heard a little bit about how it all began with the Global Compact 15 years ago. And I thought I would just bring this very nice quote to you that Kofi Annan brought to the World Economic Forum when he launched the idea about creating the Global Compact more than 15 years ago. I propose that you, the business leaders, and we, the United Nations, initiate a global compact of shared values and principles which will give a human face to the global market. Isn't that beautifully said and just as important today than when it was stated more than 15 years ago? At the Global Compact, we have the good fortune of the, protect, of the protection of the Secretary General of the UN. So the initiative was created 15 years ago by Mr. Kofi Annan, but has been under great leadership of the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon for the last eight years and has really helped us make the initiative grow to what it is today. So the compact today, as Lucia was already mentioning, is the world's largest uh, sustainable business initiative. What is very special about our initiative is that like the UN, it's very global. So we have representation in more than 160 countries. We have more than 85 local networks. I should say that they have different sizes, they have different maturity, but it's a great network to implement a new initiative like the Sustainable Development Goals that I will revert to in a moment. We build on the 10 principles that all come out of UN conventions and UN values. And you see them up here on the screen, and we already spoke about them briefly this morning. What I just want to add, that is something very particular for the UN Global Compact, is that all signatories, all business signatories, and we have more than 8,500 companies in the Compact, have to submit a report, a communications on progress, on each of these 10 principles every year. So as you can imagine, we have a great database in the compact of the activities that all our member companies are doing to drive their sustainability work based on these 10 principles that we define as the foundation of running a business in a responsible way. Something that companies should always do no matter what. Um, it has been a quite amazing journey to come from a large multinational company working in business for more than 25 years and then taking on the position as executive director of the United Nations Global Compact. But I can also assure you that it has been an amazing experience. Not least due to the fact 
that for the UN, it has been a historic milestone. Never before in time has the global world community united in this way to create a plan for the future. That plan is called Agenda 2030, and it includes the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. We also had in December a climate agreement in Paris, which was a wonderful addition to the new Agenda 2030. So pulling the two together gives us a foundation for moving forward that is absolutely unique. The world has never before had such a clear leading star for where it is we need to go. And not only did all the state leaders in the world unanimously agree to both the climate agreement and also to the 2030 agenda, but for all the sustainable development goals, a long multi-stakeholder process took place three years before the goals were actually finally coined. And Global Compact was a very important player in giving business the opportunity to provide their comments to how the goal should be phrased. So Compact was inviting and involving, I think, more than 3,000 companies in this process. So the result, when you have had an opportunity to provide your input, I hope is also that you feel greater ownership. And maybe that's why the takeoff of the new Sustainable Development Goals have been absolutely amazing. For example, no matter where I go, I was in Oslo uh, yesterday for a wonderful event on Business for Peace. Everybody talks about the Sustainable Development Goals. There's such an interest and such an enthusiasm. So I think we are in a wonderful place. There's no time to waste. But we also have to remember the Agenda 2030, that's the plan we have as a world community to create a better future for our children. But there is no plan B. This is what we have, and this is what we have agreed upon, so we better do it. And I can assure you, that many stakeholders are looking to the UN Global Compact to facilitate the implementation of these goals. Because we are the only sustainable business organization that actually sits within the UN, and the goals come out of the UN. So we have a great responsibility and also a great opportunity. So how do these new goals link to the 10 principles that we build on? Well, I think it's quite simple, because the 10 principles is our foundation. The new goals is, of course, the, the direction that we need to move towards. And in order to get from A to B, Global Compact is offering a set of platforms for businesses and organizations across the world to facilitate and engage that building on the principles we get to the targets. So we have platforms that many businesses across the world are engaged in on climate, on water, on gender. We will have a great keynote speech a little bit later on this very important theme of women empowerment, cities, peace, poverty, decent work, and then very importantly, our UN Business Hub, where the compact facilitates that businesses can find an easy way into the UN system and partner with UN entities to make the new goals become a reality. 
So how should we describe this situation we are in right now, this wonderful situation where we have the new sustainable development goals and we would like the entire world to know about them? Many of you in the audience, I believe, is from business. And at the Global Compact, we are a little bit in the same situation as when a company has to launch a new product or a new concept. We know that we have something wonderful, but we also have to run a process to make sure that our audiences first have awareness that there is something called the Sustainable Development Goals. That hopefully we can create an interest. After that, a desire to work with the sustainability, the sustainable development goals and take action to make them become a reality. Today, we have a lot of companies in the room, but you also know that there are many other companies that are not participating today. And we need to reach out to those companies and also create awareness around the new sustainable development goals. So, what we have coined at the offices in New York, together with a selection of representatives from our local networks, is a multi-year SDG campaign. We call it Making Global Goals Local Business. You don't create awareness about a con concept like the global goals in one year. It will take many years and you will have to launch the ideas from many different perspectives. We have made the first initiatives in looking at how business leaders see business opportunities in the new 17 goals. And if you look across the goals here, you can see that decent work and economic growth is one of the most interesting SDGs for a number of businesses. Good health and well-being, life on land, all the way through. The partnership goal is the one that is apparently least, least um, understood and accepted by business today. So I think the whole partnership notion is one we have to discuss much more in the future. This is just a sort of first glance at the goals based on a survey we have made together with DNV in Norway, the House of Monday Morning in Copenhagen, among 5,500 business leaders across the world. So at least a first snapshot. Another interesting set of data we get from that same survey is this one that illustrates the top SDGs by region for business. And here I think it's very clear why we need to develop local plans for implementing the SDGs across the Global Compact Network. Because countries have different priorities. And that's why we have made the campaign Making Global Goals Local Business. And we hope that it will be possible for us to liaise with the governments in each of the countries where we are present to contribute with the knowledge that we have and work together with the governments to create really great SDG plans. Well, so one of the first themes in our global campaign is to identify local SDG pioneers. A little later in the program, we will see a video with a very good friend, Paul Pullman from Unilever, who is doing an absolutely amazing job 
basically as a business pioneer for sustainability. Um, we cannot clone Paul Pullman. So what we have done is to create an initiative that will hopefully bring forward the next generation of people like Paul that will passion, will business insight, drive the whole sustainability agenda. So all our local networks have been looking for uh, SDG pioneers. We have today more than 600 candidates. They will be selected and we will identify the two sort of winners at our summit in New York in June. One that is a change agent, one that is an entrepreneur, and I'm ex expecting to see business leaders from all over the world, from big and small companies, from startups, from established companies, and I also hope to see a lot of women in that pioneer group. So it's the first time we will honor pioneers in June, but it's again a multi-year program, so we hope that we can create a movement of pioneers that can help us implement um, the new agenda and make sure that they represent the next generation in how business is run. The campaign is part of the set of activities that we are running at Compaq globally. But I also want to emphasize that we work with partners on many other activities to further the, the uh, 2030 agenda. This idea about working with partners is so important because nobody will implement the SDGs on their own. Like Ben Ki-moon says, the SDG goals, that's the people goals, they are for all of us, and we will have to participate, each of us, in making them a reality. So besides running our campaign throughout the global organization, we are also contributing to trying to make a macroeconomic business case for the SDGs as member of the, co the Business Commission for the Sustainable Development Goals. So I'm a commissioner on this very important group uh, that counts some of the um, most important business people and thinkers in the world around sustainability. We are working on linking business into the UN system. M we hope much more than has been the case in the future. There are already a number of companies that have partnerships with UN entities, and we hope that with the new global goals, that will increase even more, and at the Compact, we will help facilitate these contacts. Another important theme that we need to introduce rather sooner than later to companies around the global goals is breakthrough innovation. The goals will require not only incremental innovation from companies, but also breakthrough innovation. The new goals is more than continuing the present CSR activities. They are great activities and they should definitely be continued. But the new sustainable development goals are also very systemic in their nature. So you could say that the bar for working with sustainable business for companies has been moved up. And the goals are now asking companies to be engaged in global challenges like fighting poverty, like creating peace and non-conflict across the world, and be part of some of the huge global challenges that it will need all stakeholders 
to solve in the future. We are also developing a set of tools and resources for companies, and I'll revert to those in a moment. And we are working on how we can develop some sort of impact reporting uh, from the SDGs and also uh, from the 10 principles that Compact is building on. We are already doing this annually um, with the 10 principles, but since we have so many companies reporting uh, to our database every year, we would also like to utilize the information that we will receive on the new global goals. So here you see some of the partners that we are working with across the world. This is just a fraction because all global networks are also working with various partners and that is definitely the way it should be. So you see the global opportunity report that we are doing with DNV Monday morning, the SDG Compass, that we have produced together with GRI and the World Business Council, SDG industry matrices with KPMG in many different businesses such as transportation, finance, very useful tool, the poverty footprint with Oxfam to explore what the SDG on eradicating poverty might mean for businesses, with Volans, we work on breakthrough innovation, and then finally the Business and Sustainable Development Commission. So, I hope that I'm giving you an impression that all hands are on deck to make sure that we are wasting no time at all. So, what we are doing is to build a multi-year SDG journey where something new will happen every quarter of the year to create momentum, interest, news around the SDGs every quarter of the year. So I think you might recognize some of the issues that I have been speaking about um, that will take place throughout the year. And we hope that in the beginning of next year, we will introduce very interesting breakthrough innovation thoughts to all our signatories. So today, I'm inviting you to join the journey with the global uh, UN Global Compact organization to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. And the next stop on that journey will be our leader summit in New York in June, where we will identify and celebrate the first SDG pioneers. Thank you very much for your attention.